Hi everyone, welcome to today's seated workout. So we're gonna do 30 minutes today, just follow along. You don't need any equipment other than your chair, comfortable shoes, and something comfortable to wear. So let's get started. Let's take a nice deep breath in, bring the arms overhead, and then bring the arms all the way down. Again, nice deep breath in, and breathing out. One more time, really stretch the arms up this time, stretch, stretch, stretch and then stretch them back down. Good, let's bring the arms up to the side. Let's do the same thing, taking a nice deep breath in as you bring the arms forward, stretch and then stretching them back as you breathe out. Breath in and breathing out. One more time, breath in and breathing out. Good, let's have both arms down Then just bring one arm up other arm is down and just stretching them back and forth. So really pressing those arms back to whatever, whatever is comfortable for you. You don't want it to hurt your shoulders at all. So just take it easy on yourself. And let's just do one more. Excellent. Having the hands just relaxing in front and just rotate the wrists. And going in the other direction. Let's just bring one arm around and just do big circles. So to do it, whatever is comfortable here, sometimes people have issues with their shoulders, so just do what works for you. And then let's bring that arm back. So if you can't do a full circle, if you can't bring your arms as high, that's okay. Just do a smaller circle to the side and just one more. So just warming the shoulders up here. Let's go to the other side. So we're reaching in front. So it's like we're doing front crawl, just one sided three and four and then let's change that direction and two more and last one good all right let's warm up the legs a little bit let's just bring one foot up and then the other side so your goal here is to try and get your leg as straight as you can as you bring that foot up trying to feel that in the knee it shouldn't there should never be pain it should just be um, comfortable as you bring that foot up. So let's do one more on each side. And then let's just do a little bit of a calf raise and then bring the toes up. So we're just warming up here, working through the joints and the ankles. And let's do that one more time. Heels up and toes up. Taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Good. Let's have the hands at the side. Let's just press the arms out to the walls and then gently bringing them back in. So out to the side and back in. Let's do that two more times. Back in and last one. Excellent. Let's bring one arm up overhead and then let's pull down a little bit. So getting into a little bit more of a exercise here by pretending there's some resistance. So you're pulling and then pressing up, pull and press. Let's switch to the other side. So pressing up and pulling down, two and pull, three and last one and pull down. Let's just bring the arms back and forth. So loosening up those arms a little bit more. And then we're gonna start working on some posture exercises. Okay, having the hands resting on the legs, we're just going to start by sitting up straight. So think about your posture here. Shoulders go back, sitting up nice and straight, having those shoulders back, and then relaxing the shoulders. So feel the difference? So sitting up straight, shoulders are back, and then relaxing. Let's do that one more time. Sitting up straight, shoulders are back, and relaxing. So same thing, so we're sitting up straight here, uh, thinking of your shoulders being back, and now just press your chin back. So just push your chin back, and then relax. So again, sitting up straight, chin goes back. So you're just going back a little bit, you're just pressing it back a bit, thinking about your posture here, because often we start sitting like this, we're a little bit stooped over, so sitting up straight, press your chin back, 
and relax. Let's just do that one more time. So pushing the chin back and relaxing. Good. Okay, arms down at the side. Let's just bring the arms straight up and then bring them back down. Again, shoulders back here, abs are tight. Okay, let's bring the arms up and then back down again. We're gonna do that five times. We've got three more to go, arms coming up and back down, breathing in and breathing out. Let's do that one more time, breathing in and breathing out. Good. Now let's bring the arms up. So not having the hands really close together, just shoulder width apart roughly. And now we're just bringing the elbows down, bring them down as far as you can comfortably, and then bring them back up again. So your goal here is to try and think of a, your back being against a wall, and you're trying to have your arms follow that wall, thinking about your posture, and then bring those arms back up again. Okay, so think of that wall being there. So your hands aren't forward, your hands are back as much as you can comfortably. Bring the elbows down, follow that wall, look at your arms to make sure they're in the right position, and going back up. Okay, let's do it again. Coming down, following that wall, going back up. Let's do that one more time. So coming down, and going back up. Good, let's shake the arms out a bit. Just loosen them up. Okay, let's bring the arms back up again. Now let's bring those elbows down. So now we're in this position, and now we are just going to bring those palms down and then bring them up. Now do you feel that in your back? You should feel this in your upper back. I can feel it just sitting here. So now bring your hands down and coming back up, pressing those hands back as far as you can comfortably, bringing the hands down and back up. So look at your arms, make sure your arms are in the right position, your elbows are up, your arms, your elbows aren't down here. Get those elbows up to about shoulder height. Bring those hands down and then pressing those hands back as far as you can. Let's do that one more time and then back up. Good. Relaxing those arms, bringing the shoulders back. One more time. Good. Okay, let's have the hands in front. Now this time we are just bringing the elbows back and then, so your elbows are about in this position, kind of level with your shoulders. Now we're going to squeeze those elbows back, squeeze. It's like you're squeezing a water bottle in your shoulder blade. So hold and then bring the arms back forward. Let's do that again. So elbows come back, now squeeze them, squeeze that water bottle in between your shoulder blades and hold and coming forward. This is quite a tough exercise. If you need to bring your arms down to relax them for a second, that's okay. Or to miss one repetition and coming forward. We've got two more elbows here. Now press and coming forward. One more, if you can. Elbows go back, press those elbows together and relax, good. Okay, taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. All right, let's do another one, having the arms here. Now, sitting up straight, abs are tight, chest is out. You're just bringing the elbows up and then back down. So try and keep your arms at a 90 degree angle here, up and back down. So working the shoulders here, still thinking about having good posture, shoulders are back. Bring the elbows up and back down, up and down. So last one and back down, good. Now let's just do a few shoulder rolls. So bringing the shoulders back. I don't generally have people bringing their shoulders forward just because we are hunched over enough as it is. Bring the shoulders back. Let's do two more. Last one. Excellent. Okay, let's give the upper body a bit of a break. Let's go back or go down to legs and strengthen those legs. So let's sit up straight. Okay, shoulders are back. Let's bring one foot up. You're trying to get that leg as straight as you can. 
and back down. Now let's stay with one leg. Try and tire out that leg a little bit. This is two. And down. Three. Now, when you bring the foot up, flex that foot. Feel the difference in your quads. You probably feel your muscles in your quads working a little bit more. Five. We've got 10 that we're doing. Six, so do as many as you can. Seven. And if you find this too difficult, then you can always switch legs just to give that one leg a, a little bit of a break and before going to the other leg. I think we have one more. Last one. And down. Relaxing that leg, switching to the other side. Ready? Let's bring that leg up. That's one, and down. Two, trying to get that leg as straight as you can, and down. Three. Now this time, flex that foot, toes are pointed towards you, four. So try and kind of keep that hold, like toes are towards you whenever your foot goes up. Six, I think. Seven, eight, and we've got two more, nine, and our last one, and 10. Good. Let's go into a calf raise. So lifting those heels up, now bringing the toes up. So feel that in the front of your ankles and the joint there. You can feel that we're not used to lifting our toes too much. So just going back and forth to work on that mobility in your ankles. So toes are up, heels. So when you bring your heels up, you bring them up as high as you can and switch into the front. So up and toes are up. Heels and toes, heels and toes. And let's just do one more. Good. Let's do some leg lifts. So we are going to lift our knees. So do, as, uh, do this as well as you can. If you need to hold on to the side of the chair to help you a little bit, that's okay. Thinking about your abs being tight here. So concentrate on sitting up straight, shoulders are back, abs are as tight as you can make them. Now breathing uh, out as you lift and breathing in as you bring that foot down. Other side, breathing out and back in. And continuing, so lifting that knee and down. I know this can be a really hard exercise for some people, so just do as many as you can. Holding onto the chair if you need to, try not to let your arms do too much of the work, but you might need to use them to brace a little bit, and that's okay. Lifting that knee up, other side. Let's do one more on each side, and the other side. Good. Okay, let's bring one foot up, pointing the toes away from you, and let's just do a circle. Ready? So one, two, this is quite tough, three, four, and five. Relaxing that leg, bring the other leg up, pointing the toes, and one, two, three four and five relaxing that foot so this time we are going to bring both feet up now if you have lower back issues just bring one leg up at a time if you um, are able to stand uh, then definitely do some sit to stand so most of you who have been with me for a while know what those are you're just standing up and sitting down instead of just lifting the feet it is more beneficial for getting strength in your legs, but if you have to stay seated, that's totally okay. We're gonna strengthen those legs anyway. So we're going to lift those both feet up, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and bringing the feet back down. Now, if you're standing, you're standing up at the same time as my feet are going up. Ready? Bringing the feet up, five, four, three, two, one and down, tight abs. Thinking about your abdominals being tight here, bring those feet up, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Let's just do one more. 
Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Excellent. Let's switch to our arms. So let's bring our arms up to the side and we're just going to do some little circles. So working on the shoulders here and the arms at the same time. So just small circles. Now don't just allow your hands to do this. Your whole arm is moving. Your, your wrists are steady. Your hands are steady. And you're just going in little circles. Let's switch that direction. So going the opposite way of whatever you're doing. Little circles. Now let's make those circles a little bit bigger. So we're not doing big circles here because that can be hard on your shoulders if you have bad shoulders. And going in the other direction. So doing it for as long as you can. And then relaxing the arms. Excellent. Nice deep breath in. And breathing out. Okay, let's have the hands down at the sides. Now, if you want to use weights, you can absolutely use weights for this, but I'm just doing it without weights just because a lot of you won't have them with you, so we'll do it this way. But if you have weights, grab onto them. Hands are down at the side. Let's bring those hands up. Now, when you bring the hands up, biceps, flex those biceps. You're not just bringing the hands up and sitting here. Flex, 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 okay? Tighten those biceps, pressing out pulling in and back down. So sometimes even without weights, it's amazing how good of a workout you can get if you're really concentrating on that muscle. They say that your muscle gets worked a lot more if you actually just concentrate on that muscle, tight and flexing it. So again, flex those biceps, pressing out, pulling in and down. Again, flex, press, pull and down. Flex, press, pull, and down. So our chest and our back are getting a workout here. Flex, press, pull, and down. So you get much more out of this workout if you're going slowly, because you can really concentrate on tightening those muscles. Let's take a nice deep breath in, and breathing out. Good. Again, flex, press, pull and down. So just keep going here, really concentrate on tightening, flexing, flex those biceps, press, pull and down. Let's do one more. Flex, press, pull and down. Shake those hands out. Good work. Let's do a little bit of work for the hands. So we're just going to tighten up the hands. So squeeze them as tight as you can. Press, 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 or squeeze. And relax them. And again, squeeze as tight as you can. And relax. We're gonna do that one more time. So squeeze. And relax. A lot of us get weak hands as we get older. One thing you can do is use a tennis ball and squeeze the ball for three to five seconds. Hold it, relax, and then do it again and do that several times throughout the day. It's a great way to uh, improve the strength in your hands. Okay, let's have the hands at the shoulders. Now let's work uh, the triceps. So we're just going to press the hands back. Now your arms are straight and you are flexing your arms. Flex the entire arm and especially, you'll especially feel this in the back. So in your triceps right here. So hold, back to the shoulders. Now if you want to, you can bring a leg up at the same time, but don't lose that concentration on the triceps. And back to the shoulders. Switching legs if you wish. You can just do the arms if you want. I'm just trying to give some options here for those who want a little bit more. Back to the shoulders. This is also a cognitive exercise, working our brains a little bit with trying to concentrate on the different movements. And back up. Now really flex those arms. Every time those hands go back, you should really be feeling this in the back of the arms. And back up. Flex. And back up. Flex. We're going to do two more. Up and flex and up last time and back up i might have done one extra there okay let's go into our cardio so let's just start with marching 
So again, taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Okay, you ready? So let's pick up that march. Go at whatever pace works for you. Uh, I want you to be comfortable, but I also do want you to get a bit of a workout. So do, do uh, what you feel comfortable with. Okay, let's mark, come out on your chair if you can a little bit. If you can't, you can still do the same exercises. It just makes it a little bit easier to move when you're sitting a little bit further out. Now let's bring one arm in front and then the other side. So we're just punching in front as we're marching. Now you can pick up that pace if you want. Go at whatever pace works for you. And then let's switch it. So our leg goes out to the side and other side. Now, if you want to bring your arms into it, have your hands here and just bring a hand out at the same time as the foot. If that's too difficult for uh, coordination, then just move your legs. And if you want to get even more out of it, press that hand out. So press, press, and, and think about flexing the muscles in the arms as you bring them out. You can feel this in your triceps as you bring the hands back. And we'll move into our next move and we're just going to bring our arm over as the leg goes out. So over and over. this is too much then just move the arms okay going back into that march pressing the both arms out and in so again press and pull and going at whatever pace you can with your feet Okay, let's have the hands down at the side and we're just going to bring the feet out and in and just tapping out. Now, if this is too difficult, do one foot at a time. Abs are tight, back is flat. You, might, you can lean back a little bit in your chair and you'll also get an abdominal workout here. So this one's quite tough. So do what you can here. Okay, let's have one foot forward, one foot back. Hands are here, cross country ski. So going back and forth. So here you're leaning back a little bit. Back is off the backrest because you're sitting a little bit forward if you can. So now your abs are also getting a workout, your arms and your legs. Let's just go back into a march, relax the uh, arms. And let's just do one fast one. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five four three two and one and let's bring one foot forward one foot out in in so wide wide narrow narrow and you can bring the have the hands follow the feet if you wish that takes some concentration as well so if you can do it good for you awesome <laughs> So keep going for as long as you can. Take breaks when you need them. Okay, one more. Good, now let's just tap the foot out. Bringing the hands out again. Your heart rate should be up. And let's just go back into a straight march. Take a nice deep breath in. Let's bring the arms over the head as we take that breath in. And breathing out. Let's do that again. Nice deep breath. And breathing out. Relaxing those feet. Good job. Let's go into our stretching. So we are just going to, I'm gonna move my chair a little bit to the side so you can see a little bit better. So let's have the hands together, sitting up straight, thinking about that good posture, shoulders are back. Let's have the hands together and let's just press the hands forward. Whether you do it like this or like this, it's up to you. I like doing it this way because I feel like it stretches out my fingers as well. But pressing as much as you can to feel that in your upper back. Get 
nice deep breath in and breathing out. And let's have those hands together. Let's press the arms back, feeling that through your chest and your arms. And then pressing the hands to the walls. Now you'll feel this through your arms. And then let's bring the fingers down. Uh, actually, I have the palms up to the ceiling and then point the fingers down. So just so they are bent at about 45 degree, at a 45 degree angle, and you'll feel that stretch now through the bicep. And you'll feel it through the forearms. Holding that stretch. And relaxing the arms. Let's bring one arm in front, crossing the arm in front of the body and then pulling that arm in for a shoulder stretch. So you should feel that here in this shoulder. Again, nice deep breath in and breathing out. And relaxing that arm, other side. So arm goes right out in front, cross it in front of the body, pull that arm in and hold that stretch. And relaxing that arm, let's bring one arm straight up, drop the hand behind, pressing that elbow back to feel that here. Now, if you can't do that stretch, if you find it too difficult with your shoulders, uh, you can bring your arm like this and pull and push that elbow in towards your body a little bit. So whatever you're most comfortable with, dropping the hand behind and pressing back. So this is for the tricep here. And relaxing that arm, let's switch to the other side. Arm goes up, drop the hand behind, pressing that elbow back. Nice deep breath in. And breathing out. Relaxing that arm, let's bring one foot forward. So if you can here, it really helps to sit on the edge of your chair. That way you're able to get that leg nice and straight. So have your leg as straight as you can make it. You're just going to hinge forward at the hips. So you're not rounding your back here, flat back and just leaning forward. You should feel an amazing stretch here in the back of your leg and through your knee area. You can rest on the opposite knee if you wish. Toes are pointed up. And with the, this leg that is bent, try and have the heel underneath the knee. It's a great stretch. It feels so good, doesn't it? And let's switch to the other side and leaning forward. So this is a really good one to do throughout like every day. If you can try and do this stretch, it's really good for your, uh, your legs and your knees. And you can hold the stretch for as long as you want. Just go into it gently. So for the next one, there are some options. You can bring the ankle onto the knee if you can. I know it's a hard one for a lot of people. So do what you can. If you can do this, and then you're going to lean forward. Now, if you can't do this one, it's too difficult. You can cross your legs and then lean forward. You'll still feel that stretch or even cross the ankles and lean forward. So find the one that works best for you. Again, making sure that the heel on the, the foot on the floor, that that heel is underneath the knee so your leg isn't bent. So leaning forward, hinging at the hips, keeping a flat back. And you can change the stretch a bit or you can go into it more so you can lean more forward and you should really feel that through the glutes and the hip. You'll also likely feel it here along the leg. 
Again, this is another awesome stretch to do, like if you're watching TV in the evening or you know, sitting at a desk, you can do this every once in a while. Just sit in this position and lean a little bit forward. And let's switch to the other side. So find the right position for you. Sitting up straight, flat back, leaning forward. Deep breath in and breathing out. And coming out of that stretch, and we are going to finish with a nice and deep breath again, stretching those arms up. So big, big stretch, nice deep breath in, and then breathing out. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad to be back to creating some chair workouts for you. I will uh, be creating a lot more and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you for the next one. Take care everyone, have a great day.